question number first construct the following quadrilaterals we are on second part of exercise 4.4 chapter 4th mathematics class 8th practical geometry we need to construct a quadrilateral whose name should be true for a better understanding of this tutorial you must watch first part of this same question number first of exercise 4.4 first of all we check the continuity or cyclicity of the given statements tr it is continuous, therefore it must be the side of this quadrilateral, 3.5 cm. Then RU, again continuous, whose measurement is 3 cm, again it is the side of this quadrilateral. Then you have UE, again continuous, therefore it is the side of this quadrilateral as 4 cm. And we are given in between angles of these measurements, angle R and angle U as 75 degrees and 120 degrees respectively. Therefore, we are given with all the information that will help us in order to construct a quadrilateral whose name should be TRUE. As we have discussed in first part, we always check the angle first of all. We have R and U. Are we given any sides? R U as its vertices? Well, yes, we are given with R U line segment whose measurement should be 3 cm. So we start from this line segment itself. Hence, we constructed in our rough sketch, which is also termed as step number 0. With the help of ruler, we constructed a line segment RU. We put its measurement as 3 cm and at R we need to construct 75 degrees. So 75 is less than 90 degrees, so we have to consider this angle. We can use protractor and point wherever we have 75 degrees on our protractor. And at U, we put a marking at 120 degrees, it will be greater than 90 degrees. Therefore, we have to consider this side of this protractor and we put the point where it reads as 120 degrees. Next step is to check the orientation of our figure, whether it will be clockwise or anticlockwise. RU is here and we need to construct T R U E. So T must fall somewhere here. Then only it will be possible as T R U E in anticlockwise manner. With that in place, now let's find other measurements. We are given with TR measurement as 3.5 cm. So approximately, we constructed 3.5 cm using that previously constructed point when we constructed 75 degrees and we jotted down as 3.5 cm and put our vertex as T over here. So we have constructed TRU. Now, we shall check the measurement for UE. Well, we have here 4 cm. So with that point in our mind that we previously constructed or marked, we elongated it with the help of ruler and put the measurement as 4 cm and put our vertex E. Now it is just a matter to connect vertex T with E. With that, our rough sketch step number 0 has been completed and we just check whether we are on the right track or not. So let's check the correctness of our step 0. We need to construct quadrilateral TRUE. Well, we have TRUE, correct. TR 3.5 cm, TR 3.5 cm, RU again 3 cm, correct. UE 4 cm, UE is 4 cm, R and U are 75 and 120 degrees. So we can say that we have correctly constructed our step 0. And using that, we can actually construct a final figure with actual measurements. In our step number first, we simply connect RU with a distance of 3 cm. Using our ruler, we constructed RU line segment, jotted down its measurement as 3 cm and put its vertices as RU. Pause it and try to construct it yourself. In step number second, we need to construct 75 degrees and 120 degrees at vertex R and U respectively. The idea to construct 75 degrees is this, 60 plus 15 degrees will give us 75 degrees. So let's first of all construct 60 degrees. Again, a word of caution over here, this time it is 3 cm and we adjust the compasses in proportionate to this value. So 2 cm will be long enough. This time we are adjusting our compasses at a distance of 1 cm only, considering this dimension as 3 cm. So we adjust our compasses at a distance of 1 cm, put our needle at vertex R and try to construct this arc like this, such that it must intersect our line segment RU. That is the necessity of this construction. 
Now we put our needle over here and again we will not change our compasses which was set to 1 cm and try to intersect this previously constructed arc. It intersected here that is our 60 degrees. Now we need to construct another 60 degrees. So we put our needle over here and intersected the previously drawn arc and it intersected here that is our 120 degrees. We are doing it because first of all we need 90 degrees. For 90 degrees you know very well now we put our needle over here and draw this arc. Now we put our needle over here and intersect this arc wherever it intersect that is our 90 degrees and we marked it with the help of dotted lines. This is our 90 degrees. This will be helpful in attaining another 15 degrees. When we constructed this 90 degrees we made two angles. This is 30 degrees and this is 30 degrees because it was 60 degrees and when we constructed this 90 degrees we bisected this 60 degrees into 30 degrees and 30 degrees. So this angle is our 30 degrees and if we will bisect it we will get 15 degrees. So how we bisect it? We again put our needle over here and construct this R. This you get with practice that is bisection will go in between this angle therefore we need to construct only this much arc. Again, for practice, you may construct it large enough. Now, we put our needle over here because we are bisecting this angle only. Because this is 30 degrees, we need to construct 15 and 15 degrees. So, we will put our needle over here and try to intersect this arc. So, it intersected like this. Now, this angle will be our 15 degrees. So, 60 degrees is this much and 15 degrees is this much. Therefore, it gives us complete 75 degrees. 60 plus 15 degrees equal to 75 degrees and we marked it down with extra dark dotted line. Again, it is not our final measurement but we got our measurement of 75 degrees. Pause it and try to construct it by our own. At you, we need to construct 120 degrees. We are doing it in the same step because these both things are independent to each other. Therefore, we can construct in the same step number second. 120 degrees is easy. Again, using the same adjustment of our compasses as one centimeter, we put our needle at vertex U and try to construct this arc such that it intersect line segment RU over here. Now we put our needle over here and try to construct this previously drawn arc. It gives us 60 degrees. Now we put our needle over here and try to intersect again this previously drawn arc. This gives us 120 degrees. With the help of ruler, we simply connect with the dotted lines because we got 120 degrees. So we see how easily we constructed both these angles on vertex R and U. Again, pause it and try to construct it by your own. In step number third, we simply get the actual measurements. So we have RT as 3.5 cm, adjust the compasses at a distance of 3.5 cm, put the needle at R and try to intersect this previously constructed dotted line. So here we are and we mark it down as vertex T. Now again UE is of dimension 4 cm, so we will readjust our compasses at a distance of 4 cm, put our needle at vertex U and try to intersect this previously constructed dotted line segment. Or you may call it a ray in actual because it do not has an ending point. So the same has been done over here in step number third and we marked it down as vertex E. Again pause it and try to construct it yourself. Step number four is easy. We simply need to connect vertex T with E. So the same has been done over here and we just tidy up that is jotting down all the information that we have in our step number 0 in our final step number 4. So angles 75 degrees and 120 degrees at vertex R and U respectively and jotting down rest of the three line segments measurements. With this step number 4 is also completed and that completes this exercise 4.4 of chapter 4 mathematics class 8 practical geometry.